sounds really awful. This sounds kind of hard. What? You haven't made it greater. You've made it worse. So YouTube actually recommended me something awesome for once. And that's the Undertale OST made from memory. I only listened to this literally for, well, about that long, I apparently. But I just knew I had to make a reaction to this and listen to this with you lot. It literally is what it is. The Undertale OST made from scratch, made from memory. I had to upload something and this project is making me sick. I'd only listened to the originals two or three times maximum. So I can kind of recreate them faithfully. But let's shut up and get into this here. I may go back to the official OST here and there just so we can have a sort of comparison and hear out what it's actually meant to sound like. But for now, let's shut up. We got Once Upon a Time, the first track. Okay, it does sound pretty much like it. It just sounds a little off, you know? Like it's being played in some aquatic kind of situation here. Like it's the NES version, you know? Like it's been downgraded to 8-bit. I'm kind of liking it. Oh, never mind. Ah, God. Oh, that's how they remember it, do they? Okay. We went down to 4-bit, 2-bit, 1-bit, half-bit. Quarter-bit. The risky. Oh, God. It's like my ears are most likely producing stuff. I don't want it to. It's going red. It's bleeding, okay? My ears are bleeding. Oh, I like this bit, though. Like, we're just banging the pian. Bang, bang, bang on the pian. Okay. It was good though. It was pretty much it. Just... What do we have now? Start menu. This sounds a little funkier, actually. Hey! This is really impressive, though, how they did it from memory here. That's crazy. So not only did they have to remember it, but they just pretty much... However they made the OST here, from memory, in whatever program... They, they guessed all the notes and all the super jabber to do with music I have no idea about. Is this Flowey? Your best friend. This seems way more sinister. Like it was already pretty sinister, especially when you knew his motives. But this sounds like way worse. This seems like if you're playing the game for the first time, you're already gonna know Flowey's bad, you know? Because we all thought Flowey was okay, let's admit, our first time. Uh, go mama? Falling down? I think this guy fell down something. To produce what I'm hearing right now. He fell down the stairs, I think. He was like, I'm going to make the uh, Undertale OST from scratch. And then he p proceeds to fall down the stairs. And then he decided to make it. Yeah, probably shouldn't have. Probably should have waited till he recovered. Okay, this bit's nice. Oh, what's this like? Almost wind part, you know? I'm getting a bit of a gust kind of sound. Like, ah, ah, but that's the only way I could describe it, to be honest. This is the original. This is the one and only. Yeah, definitely a little different. But let's go back to this one. <laughs> when you go back like that, goodness, there is a change. Oh, we got ruins. Okay, that piano coming in. Okay, that bit's spot on. It just sounds off. Like, the right beats are there, you know, dun, 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 dun. Like, we got that, but it just sounds off. Wow! It just sounds really off. Off? It 
sounds more off than off. Good God. Okay, if we go to the actual original ruins. You see how we got that bit right? Let's go to that, that drop. Let's find the drop. Go to the drop. Go to the drop. Ready? Oh, that is nice. And then this version's drop. <laughs> this versus drop actually makes you want to drop, you know? It doesn't really want to make you, it forces you. You just drop. God. Who let the Rugrats take over the piano? I don't know. Little babies? Ruining the music? We are now playing Undertale on the Game Boy. Yeah, the Game Boy. What bit is that? Four bit? Two bit? It's lower bits than the original game. Good lord, it's like it's been Google translated a million times or something. Oh, so temperate. Okay, this sounds insanely good. What? This sounds just like it. Go to the actual real soap temperate. That is actually spot on. And now go back to the memory one. Again, it sounds a little bit like we're in an underwater city or something, you know? We're, we're at Atlantica. We're singing songs with the little mermaid, you know? Under the holy heck and see? But other than that, this is the real one. It sounds really good. Ooh. Okay, I'm liking this one. It's like we got those extra drums. We got that extra bass or something. Yeah, listen to the real one. Here we go. It's different. It's official. But the other one. Dang. I like what they did here. Their memory. It may have swiveled them in various directions, but it swiveled them well with that one. Oh. Okay, anticipation. That's nice. Let's quickly hear the other one a second. Okay, again, it's just like SNES and then. NES. It kind of basically is. Ooh. We all want to hear Megalovania though, don't we? We're just dying to hear that. That's going to be hilarious. Oh, God. We're really getting chased down. We really are. We're in panic. We're in desperation. The stress. Don't mama leaving us. What the heck? Enemy approaching. This sounds kind of hot. What? That actually sounds really good. Woo! And the official one? This is the official one. We're still listening to the official. Yeah, it's nice. And then, the one where we make it from memory. It's like some kazoos in there or something. I don't know. We're kazooing it. I love this one, what? It's not jarring, it's not making my ears bleed. Ghost fight. That sounds exactly the same. Go to Ghost Fight on the official one. What's the difference? And then I went to this one. The memory one. Oh, now it's a little different. Go to the official. Ready? Yeah. That's where it gets different. They remembered completely the very beginning, like the first few seconds. Okay. 
Okay. It sounds like I had one too many, you know? They said, Marisu, you've had enough. But I just kept going, you know? I kept having more! Red Bull! Vodka! Get down me! And this is what the OST starts sounding like. I'm a little woozy, but I'm having a good time still. This bit sounds perfect though, like absolutely perfect. It's crazy how good that is. Watch next. Oh, we have Determination. That sounds really good. This is the official one by the way. A hundred percent a fish. And then this one, it's gone through the cheese grater. It's gone through the cheese grater! One too many times. You've already grated that block of cheese, but you're grating it again? Why are you doing it? Why are you ruining the grate? The grate cheese was already grated. It was already great. You haven't made it greater, you've made it worse. Ah, oh, we got home. That sounds pretty good. Let's go to the official one. A lot cozier. A lot more cozy. And then this one. Yeah, we've had another bad night, you know. Walked back home from work. We did our nine to five. It's a Friday. It's been raining. There's even been a little lightning. But we're finally home. But we're in a bad mood, you know. Our co-workers. They weren't working very well that day, that week. All the work was piled on you, you know. It seemed like you did everything. Why are they even there? Why are they getting paid? But we're home. We're a little agitated, but we're home. <laughs> we're still a little stressed, but... We're putting on our slips. We're making a cup of tea. We're having a little bicky. A little bourbon, a custard cream. Things are getting better. It does sound pretty good, actually. The longer it goes on, you kind of get used to it, you know? You get used to the notes being completely different. If I was presented this and like, just randomly without being told, I don't know if I would know the difference, honestly. I don't think I would. Like say three years from now, if I hadn't listened to the OST in that long, you know, and I was presented with this, I think I would be fooled, 100%. Right, so now we've got the music box version. Let's go to the official one, the music box version. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's nice. Let's go back to this one. It is good though. It's pretty spectacular that this person even did all this from memory. Heartache's a big one. This is... That already sounds pretty different to start. Let's go to the official version here. And then back to the memory one. It sounds like an, like this could be used for an AU or something, you know? It feels like that. Like, what's that AU where, like, it's meant to be harder? Like, none of them like humans? I can't remember now. I used to know some of my AUs. Like, everyone hates humans, even Toriel or something. Everything's red. Sans is red. He's got gold teeth or something. Papyrus is like really evil. It's like that. It could be used for that. Dang. This is where Gold Mama really doesn't want you to leave. Let's go back to the official version here. 
We're going to skip through to try get round the around the same point. It's so much softer, man. My ears. It forgets how soft the original OST mostly is compared to this beating sound we get right here. My eardrums are getting attacked. God Mama's going all out in this one. <laughs> That is so different, that part. Wow. What's next? What's next? We got Sands, I think. Wow! That's a lot different. Go to the official. Listen to that! Classic! Listen to this one. I think we fell down more stairs than we already did. We fell down the escalator that was going up. So we kept rolling even more and more, you know? The escalator was trying to keep us going up, but we just kept rolling and rolling. Bad times are hard. An endless flight of stairs we fell down. We did. And then we decided to make this song for some reason. From our beaten noggin. Again, it is like an alternate version, like be used for an AU. Okay, this is Papyrus. Oh, it's technically called Nehehe, but it's the Papyrus name. Wow. Now go to the real one. That's the real one, by the way. And then remembered one. Again, I made this comparison a lot in this video, but it really is like we played Undertale on the SNES and then we played the NES version. It's like Undertale at home. It really is. But we have Undertale at home. Here it is. This version. Wow. Or it's just like you couldn't get the new console, so you had to play the rubbish port, you know. Again, the downgraded NES one. Is this snowed in? Oh, this is snowy. Yep, snowy. That is vastly different already. Yeah, vastly different. This is the official one. It sounds clean. And then... <laughs> Again, this is amazing work. It really is, but... When you do compare it, there is a difference. There is. Okay, we're up in the Alps. We're yodeling. It seems like we're gonna cause an avalanche though. Maybe we shouldn't be yodeling and be so pitchy up in the snowy mountains. I feel like a cat's tail is being pulled right now. Th this bit sounds pretty much like it though. It is absolutely wild how some of it does sound pretty much the same. Okay. Ah. Uh, wow, so holiday apparently. I don't remember it sounding like that. This is what I remember it sounding like. Yeah. Remember that? Or do you remember this? We've gone to space. Or now we're just playing Earthbound. I guess. This isn't Undertale anymore. It's Earthbound. I think he got the two games confused. He really did think Sans was Ness, didn't he? He really did. Ooh, this is, yeah, dog bass. That was short. Let's listen to the real dog bass.
He just I, I like added an extra note or something at the end. What's this? We got mysterious place. Wow. This really does sound like a mysterious place. A place that I've never visited in the game because where the heck does this music even play? Where does it play? Let's listen to where it actually plays in the real game. Yeah, that place. This is like a whole new room no one's ever discovered in Endertale. It really is. It's the room parallel to the mysterious place that no one ever found. What can I say that I haven't already said? The fact that this person even made this from memory, made it from scratch, it's just absolutely incredible. And as I already mentioned throughout the whole video, pretty much each song did pretty much sound like, like the song. There wasn't anything really drastic. He had the main notes going on there. But it just sounded like a weird trip version. But yeah, that was the Undertale OST from memory. Again, there's a part two if you want me to check that out and this is whatever and you want to check this out yourself. There'll be links in the description. And see you for 2009.